Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I will show you how you guys can cr quickly create a React project that uses Tailwind CSS as a CSS framework. And also we're going to use JIT, which is just in time compiler for C uh, Tailwind CSS. And for the bundler, instead of using Webpack, we will use White because it is much faster. So your overall performance or like basically your overall build time of your React application will be drastically uh, down. So you need to go to a repository. It is basically a template that I have created. So you can find it at y-react-tailwind-jit. So you will actually find a link in the description. So you can just use that. Now, once you're here, you need to click on this Tailwind CSS, uh, sorry, use this template button. Before doing this, let me show you what are we using. So you can see this template allows you to quickly scaffold a React project with React Router. Obviously, we're using React Router, Tailwind CSS with JIT compiler and white as a bundler. We use white because it's much faster than Webpack and also use Tailwind CSS JIT compiler because it makes Tailwind CSS build time negligible, right? And also offers uh, some features like, you know, dynamic uh, padding, dynamic margins, so you can actually specify your own uh, units. So, which is pretty, pretty cool without even customizing your uh, Tailwind CSS config. Even if you customize your Tailwind CSS config, it is still going to be much faster. So yeah, we will click on use this template. We'll create a folder. Let's uh, sorry, we'll create a new repository. We'll call it uh, yt react demo, and we'll say we'll uh, leave description empty and just click on create repository. All right, so it's gonna take up a while to create it. Okay, so it's already done. So what we're going to do is just click on here and use the SSH to clone it. All right, so what I'm gonna do is close this VS code and we'll do, okay, so I'm here in my YT directory. I will clone it, get clone and paste it. Okay, once it's done, we can do uh, yt react dash demo all right so once you're here you can open it in vs code so we can do oh my god okay so now we are inside the vs code and this is the directory structure i will quickly explain you the directory structure although it's really self-explanatory you have the source directory in which you have a component where you can put your component you have the pages where you can put your pages so since we are using the uh, React Router, and you have a static directory which contains a folder called CSS. So this is basically the directory where you can put all of your stuff like images, CSS, uh, and yeah, other static assets if you have. And uh, what we're going to do, this is like the app.js file. So currently we just have a component called navbar and we're putting it here and you can see we're using React Router. By the way, if you're wondering which font I'm using, it's Fantasky Sans, you can use it. It's pretty good. Okay, so once I am here, what we're going to do is uh, install the dependency. So I can do yarn. Okay, so now it is going to install the dependencies and it will create a node module folder in a moment. Okay, so you can see. Now, uh, other quick things to explain, this is your post CSS configuration and this is your Tailwind CSS configuration, nothing fancy. So yeah, this is cool. And once it is done, and you can also see it doesn't take too much time just because, you know, white is like blazing fast. So this is like really cool. So if you want to build it, so what you can do is just type yarn and dev. So this will open it uh, in localhost 3000. Okay, so you can go to this URL. So we'll do localhost 3000 and you will see this. Uh, output okay so you can see we have just a simple component which was the nav bar so this is what we are displaying here so if you go to the components you'll find the nav bar .jsx. it contains two component first is button which we are using in the nav bar so basically you have the nav bar component here and also you we are using the router so you can see currently we are on the home page if you click on the about us you can see it's slash about and this is changed to this is about page so this is by like basically to quickly create a projects and do not repeat yourself, right? Because uh, basically if you are going to create it again and again, you will do the same process again and again, which is kind of really stupid, right? You're repeating yourself again and again. So instead of uh, what you can do is you can directly uh, use this template and just create it. 
Now the cool thing that I will show you why we use JIT, right? Tailwind CSS JIT compiler and not the traditional one because it is blazing fast. And the other thing is uh, that uh, it offers uh, some cool features that I will show you. For example, we have this text, right? So if I go to the app JSX, you'll find that we are, okay, sorry, in the home. So I'll go to the pages and this is the place. Okay, so you can see this, right? Now what I'm going to do, I will add some class. So we'll do class name is equals to this. We'll do bg dash, let's do green dash 500, okay? So now you can see this is what we have here. Now you can specify some width, for example, 72 for a moment. Now you can see the, this is the width. But what if you want to provide a specific width that is not in the Tailwind CSS utility? So what you can do, first way is to directly change your Tailwind CSS configuration, which is obviously a nice way, but you know, since we're using the JIT, you can do something like W dash and in the square bracket, you can provide whatever you want. For example, if I want 100,000 uh, pixel, and it is going to be 1000 pixel. So this is why we use JIT and also it is much faster. So yeah, this is how you can create, or I should say quickly create a React project that uses React Router, Tailwind CSS and White as a bundler. Thanks for watching.